Hey folks, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, rundown of this Rand Stratus XP that I uh, got recently. I picked it up off the um, Re Recumbent Classifieds Facebook group. I noticed it. Um, it was on there, it was listed from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and the seller uh, only wanted local pickups. So it was sitting there for a couple of weeks and nobody was buying it and I thought the price was ridiculously low. Um, and I remembered I had a friend who lives in Ann Arbor and it turns out that um, not only could he help me pick it up, but he was able to uh, actually uh, deliver it to me here, here in Baltimore. He, uh, he's a touring musician and he was uh, touring the East Coast. So he put it in the back of his van on uh, one of his tours and uh, uh, brought it right here to me in, in Baltimore. So I got it for an extremely, uh, what I thought was uh, uh, low, low price. And there were just a few little things with it. Um, there's some like little bolts on the underside of the seat that were uh, uh, missing. If you see that little, um, uh, this, this little bolt right up here. Ah, I can't get to it there. There you go. Uh, the, the bolt between uh, the, the seat bracket there and the, and the little pin, uh, that was missing on one side of the bike. So it was wobbling a little bit and I had to, I had to get another bolt, which was no big deal. And then this guy, this, uh, um, uh, a pin to uh, kind of uh, uh, tighten up the seat clamp was on the other side and it would hang down and it would like interfere with the chain a little bit. So I just, I just moved the uh, seat post around to, uh, uh, to correct that. And then uh, the seat for some reason also was uh, squeaking a little bit. Um, uh, I, you know, on top of it wobbling around cause it was missing the bolt. It, there was a lot of uh, extra noise on the, with the fabric rub rubbing against the frame. Uh, I guess so. I took the seat apart on the recommendations of uh, BJ Strauss from the uh, recumbent bike seat fix uh, page, site, whatever, and uh, um, I cleaned the fabric and I actually like uh, waxed uh, the frame down and put it all back together and it's been quiet as a mouse ever since uh, fixing that. So it's been in really good shape. I also um, added uh, some new tires to the uh, uh, to the bike. It had some like kind of nice road tires, but I wanted to, uh, I do a little bit of rail trail riding. So I wanted something a little bigger. Um, so I added those, put a, put a mirror on it. Um, I uh, polished it up a little bit, but it's, it's just in super, super nice shape. I also, I love this, this type of steering column. Like this is just, uh, super nice. I have, you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger guy and I have uh, longer legs. So, um, you know, not having, something that comes out directly and kind of interferes as I'm turning with my knees, um, I just think is, is, is really nice. So this is just, for me, a super, super comfortable recumbent bike. Um, really feels good on uh, uh, long rides, just like uh, any recumbent bike, but I just, uh, I, I really like this. I probably have about uh, $450 into it, so not, not a ton. Um, it was just a, a I think a great find and I'm fortunate to, uh, uh, to have it and, and be able to ride it. So let me know if you have any questions on it. Thanks.